Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. A pole dancing club has been forced out of a quiet village after locals complained that young women in thongs and bras could be seen writhing around. High Voltage Pole began offering classes from a converted warehouse in 2020, and its Facebook page shows students in skimpy outfits and vertiginous heels going through their moves or leaning against a wall to show their toned peaches. But some residents took issue with the risque antics, with one mother complaining her four-year-old child could see girls in thongs and bras from their bedroom window and blasting the inappropriate behavior. There were also complaints about students blocking the single-track road with their cars, making parking horrific for nearby homeowners in their smart Edwardian semis and Victorian detached homes. Now, owner Danica Painter, 31, has had to quit her premises in the Cambridgeshire village of Elm after losing a planning battle. She appealed against enforcement action brought by the Borough Council of Kings Lynn and West Norfolk on the grounds that she had started operating in the former jam factory without permission. But the planning inspectorate have now upheld the decision because of the harm to highway and pedestrian safety. Although in a Pyrrhic victory for Ms. Painter, it found the school had not had a harmful effect on living conditions for residents. The extrovert former ballet teacher, who also works as a stripper in clubs across the UK according to her online biography, was more coy when approached by a reporter yesterday. Speaking at the door of the home in the village, she shares with her fiancé, stuntman Teddy Leinard, and her pet Maltishan, Bertie, she said, no, no thanks when asked to comment. But locals were more vocal revealing a split over whether the young entrepreneur should have been made to leave. One, who didn't want to be identified, said, The biggest issue for us was the parking. Students were parking in front of our driveway. The first lesson was maybe 5 p.m. and the second was about 7 p.m. It was once or twice a week. Another issue someone was their window looked into the back of the jam factory. They had a younger child and were a bit yuck about it. Other residents said more than one house had good vantage points for the pole dancing antics, although no other formal objections had been made about views that were out of keeping with the area. Another critic, and Hyde, 72, also complained of parking problems and said, it does not teach young children any values about themselves, doing that dancing. It's too provocative. But former businesswoman Sarah Rigby, 64, was upset the school lost its appeal. Yes, they did pole dancing, but it's a form of exercise. I would be doing it if I was fit enough, she insisted. Ms. Rigby said of Ms. Painter, who is known as Dolly, she's a sweet lass and just trying to make her way in life. We should be encouraging the entrepreneurs, not making their lives difficult. And retired butcher Bill Burnell, 80, dismissed the pole dancing as harmless enough, adding, some people just do not like anyone else enjoying themselves. The borough council declined to discuss the matter, saying, we do not comment on planning issues. Meanwhile, Ms. Painter, who describes her fave pole dancing tricks as anything splitty, has already announced online she is moving to a new studio in nearby Wisbeach, boasting it is double the size with seven 4-meter poles and a separate studio for 1-2-1s. The premises, which are due to open later this month, are in a commercial area surrounded by businesses and with an Asda supermarket opposite. A group of women in their 80s were overcome with hilarity upon learning of the new facility nearby, with one joking, I'd do it if I could.